I'm Tamara and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be about I messages. That's right, not you, but I. So have you been arguing with someone lately and they won't listen to anything you say, no matter how hard you try to get them to listen or you try to get your point across, they just don't seem to take your side or they disregard everything you say and never take it in or understand your viewpoint. It could be because they feel like you're passing blame or judgment on them and being accusatory and getting them on the defense about something. So you want to soften that by using I messages. So the next time you're in an argument with someone or you feel disrespected by someone, disregarded, misunderstood, try using an I message instead of a you message. An I statement is a way to communicate that focuses on the beliefs or feelings of the speaker rather than the thoughts and characteristics that the speaker attributes to the listener. For example, instead of saying, why do you always take my iPad to work and use it without my permission? You might say instead, I feel anxious and nervous when I'm looking all over for my iPad and it's missing. So could you please let me know when you want to borrow it? You see the difference? So an I statement gives you the ability to be assertive without being accusatory. It keeps the listener from feeling defensive and then arguing with you as a result. And you get to feel heard. So instead of telling someone, I hate it when you don't pay attention to me. Instead, you could say, when you don't listen to me, I feel ignored and uncared about. It makes it easier to communicate more effectively rather than casting blame on someone else. I often teach this to children that I'm working with. So instead of them going to the playground telling kids, if you take my crayons without asking me one more time, I'm gonna pour all your glue out. So instead of doing that, you let the other kid know how you feel and how what they did affected you. So instead they could say, it hurts my feelings when you use my crayons without my permission. Could you ask me next time? See the difference? So, from now on, practice using I statements. It does take a little getting used to, but it will help you to effectively communicate better and to also feel heard without getting other people on the defensive. Now, do you need a little bit of advice? If you have a question or a problem that you're going through that you would like me to address, then please send your question or your problem to the email address below and I might feature it on one of my upcoming videos. I really like helping people with their problems and I look forward to being able to help you with something that you're going through. And I think that will also help others. Thank you for watching my video. Bye.